Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to yet another showcase video. Today we are back on the Westeros Craft server because you guys seem to really, really enjoy my latest, uh, or my first actually, but also my latest video from this server here. And I've decided I want to try to, to get some more publicity out for this server here. Again, I've been talking to the manager of the, the Twitter account for Westeros Craft. And they were really stoked for me doing a little bit of videos here just because I really just want to show off what these guys are capable of because they are truly amazing builders, all of them, and I've been inspired by them so many times. But a little disclaimer before we go on, I'm no expert at all on Game of Thrones. If I butcher names, if I say something wrong about the lore, something like that, I don't mean it in a hard way. Uh, it's just I just want to show off the building. I don't want to show off the lore because I don't know stuff about that um, I'm a, I am a Game of Thrones fan But I don't know as much as these people do uh, So there was a little a few people in the last video that was a little bit grumpy that I uh, I, I kind of butchered the name or something, but s sorry for that. I Have said it already. I don't know stuff about this. Okay, um I just want to show off some cool buildings, get inspired myself, and hopefully inspire you guys as well. Well, when that is out of the way, what are we checking out today, Vigo, you may ask? Well, I got, I'm got. i gonna answer you right now. We are on the Westeros Craft server, checking out Castle Stokeworth, uh, which is north of King's Landing, the capital of Westeros, and uh, the world of... or the continent of which most of the action in the series Game of Thrones and the books A Song of Ice and Fire is happening. As you can see, I'm just kind of peeking at this castle a little bit, giving you a little bit of a sneak peek here. Um, but yeah guys, we're going to check out the castle here. Uh, we don't know too much about it, uh, but it, uh, it, it's it been mentioned in the books a few times. Uh, apparently Bronn uh, is going to marry the daughter of this uh, castle here, uh, and also um, the, the Targaryens, I think, Visenya Targaryen, uh, was, uh, like, staying here for a little while. Again, I might be wrong on this, just did a little bit of research <laughs> quickly, and I know a little bit of stuff beforehand, so please correct me, but don't be mad if I say something wrong. First of all, look at this beauty right here, wow, it is truly amazing, just, oh wow, they, they, they like the depth of this, uh, the way you just saw the, the back, like the Don John part, uh, or the keep uh, from the outside, and didn't see like the surrounding walls here, the curtain walls. Uh, that really, that, that works, it's so cool. And I just love the color palette here as well, it's talking of this red, and I'm a big fan of red castles in general. Uh, like the red keep, I guess, but um, th this is truly, truly beautiful, and I think, for all I know, I think that the red bricks and the red stone that we have in this area here is uh, it's very common in these areas around King's Landing and in the Crown's Lands and stuff like that. Uh, so that might be why. Uh, here we have the Baratheon Targaryen banner up there. And I guess this might be the Stokeworth banner. I'm not sure. Again, not an expert. Uh, but let's go inside here and check out a little bit of what is going on here. Uh, it's going to be a, like a general overview. If you're interested in checking out more of this, get on the server. Information is down below. Uh, and you'll be able to walk around like I do here. You don't have to apply or anything. It's just as a guest. Uh, and you can read up on the lore if you want to. First of all, the courtyard is pretty humongous in here. Gotta say, that that's very nice. Uh, we got a little archering range here, which uh, I would suck at, but... Well, <laughs> at least I can practice here, that's a thing at least. Um, I want to get up on the walls there, but I think we'll just wrap a little bit around here, seeing what we got. Uh, a few houses here uh, for storing food or grains, it looks like. Yeah, elevated from the ground, so no like mice and stuff, rats can climb up. Uh, very cool stuff. These guys know what they're kind of talking about, uh, and uh, it really shows. Uh, here's a little house, and... Uh, can I get... Yeah, I get in here. This might be like a little bakery, it looks like. And uh, there's some glitches with the, um, the shader pack, I think. So this bread is super shiny. Or it might be Polish bread. I don't know. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's a little bit of shining on some of these. But really cool. Uh, it could also be the servants' buildings, for all I know. Or it's just a lot of bakeries. 
Who knows? It looks awesome. Uh, we got this cool um, pose here. I guess this would be like for clo hanging clothes on. And so, wow, the sun is really in my face now. I'm gonna turn out like that. I'm prepared like I wasn't last time. So now we can uh, see stuff uh, without having the sun in our face. Uh, let's check out a few of these houses here. Yeah, I, I bet these are servants buildings. Uh, they're very similar, most of them. Uh, so we'll not check out all of them. Maybe just a quick look. Yeah, some barracks and stuff. Uh, but it looks like there's a staircase leading up. Ooh, what is this? Uh, leading up to the... Ah, uh, sun in my face this way now. Wow, I'll never get a break. Uh, it is very dark in here, but by the looks of it, you can see it. It's darker on my screen than on yours. Um, I hope. <laughs> uh, this looks like an armory thing. Uh, very nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I want to get up on the wall here though and check out the, the castle here or the tower and the battlements. Nice arrow slates. I gotta like, I love these uh, with the connection textures and all of that. And just look at the fields from here. This is so flat. Just a lot of fields. So full of atmosphere. I love it. Uh, I really hope that I can just do a castle like this and just do weeks of farms and stuff outside. That would be fun uh, for the looks of it. But uh, it's a little boring in my opinion. But when you do it, it just adds so much to all of this. So kudos to you guys who decided to add all of these farms. It is truly amazing. Uh, make sure guys to check out their YouTube channel, I'll also link that below, and, and their Twitter account. I'll try to link all of that, so you can check that out uh, if you want to. Oh, what is this? It's just the gate. Yeah, okay, so this would be the for the drawbridge. Is there portcullis in here? No, there's no portcullis. Uh, no, no murder holes! How dare you! How dare you having no murder holes? Man, I'm disappointed. <laughs> no, but we got some arrow slits here. Um, and these things to lower and raise up the drawbridge, which is kind of cool. There's no matriculations here. Uh, but I guess it works. You got this like angled arrow slits here. So, not too bad. Uh, we're kind of just moving around over the... Oh, can we get all the way up here? I want to see this. Um... Yes, all the way on top here. This is beautiful. Great stuff. Uh, loving this layout so far. It, it seems very defensible. Uh, and um, the style and coloring and all of that just totally works for what we got here. Uh, why is there planks here? Oh, it's slightly broken. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Is it broken on the front? Nah. Stuff like that just adds so li like a lot of history and character and stuff like that as well. Which is very cool. Uh, let's go through here. I feel like I'm saying cool a lot. But I, you guys just got to bear with me. It is really cool. So, <laughs> yeah. Just got to bear with me on that. Um, but what is going on here? Oh, this is another gate, isn't it? And here we got murder holes. Yay, I'm finally satisfied. Let's check that out. Uh, yes, there's a little side gate here. Uh, another drawbridge. Uh, but looks of it, this might be even more defended. Than the main gate, uh, which uh, I'm I'm totally fine with. But yeah, here we have a drawbridge and, and a little moat going across here. Uh, but then the there's murder holes inside here, and I love myself some murder holes. So that is awesome. Oh, well, th this stuff is also pretty huge, and uh, it's like a little village happening here. Oh, there's a like an inner wall. Ah, now yeah, that makes sense. And uh, there's. <laughs> I'm flying all over the place. I'm sorry guys. Please don't hate me for this. I'm just super stoked for what these guys have built um, Okay, so we get in here. We have the castle right in front of us. We have this first courtyard as I like to call them uh, And then we have a secondary courtyard uh, which goes up here Through a little gate uh, which also has uh, an adjacent uh, gatehouse within this thing and here we have more of like uh, lands like uh, buildings and stuff for, uh, I, I do believe there will be more like professions and stuff in here. Or maybe just like servants buildings. I don't know. Uh, and this looks like a stable. Or maybe actually a kennel. Because there's bones in here. Yeah, that would be a kennel. Um, there's like some salt and stuff here. Or maybe it's just like textiles. Uh, and a big well. A very big well. Is there any easter eggs below here? Let's see. Anything? Nah, 
Man, I, when people add Easter eggs below the wells, that, that always amazes me a little bit. Um, let's quickly check out. Oh yeah, these are bigger. Uh, it just looks, looks, looks like some kind of uh, either stables or like pig pens. I guess, yeah, that, that looks like some kind of pig pen area. And then we got a chicken hoop or chicken house here. And um, stables, these are definitely the stables. So much stuff going on here, dude, I love it. Uh, I wish I could spend more time just touring this server here. That would really spike my inspiration. But yeah, definitely a big tip for me, guys, uh, when you want to get inspired is check out what other people have done. And don't copy them. I don't like people copying, and I don't like copying myself because it's boring. But just take inspiration. Do something similar to this. Yeah. There's a difference between inspiration and imitation, as I like to say. And totally just building something similar is okay. Just don't, don't, don't copy it, alright? Uh, this must be the temple or the sept uh, of the, the, the seven gods. Uh, that's the seven-pointed star for the religion of this area here. And then we got banners uh, or like pictures for all the gods. I don't know the name of all of them. Uh, I think we have the maiden and we have... Um... The father, the mother at least, maybe the father, the smith, I don't know. I can't remember them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's very cool. Uh, let's get inside here and don't sp waste too much time. Uh, we might have to turn off shaders again. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. We are now just inside where I left off. Just had to do a little bit of a cut. Uh, and uh, we got three rooms, three doors. Uh, which one should we go through? I have not checked out this already, so we go here. Uh, by the looks of it, a massive kitchen. Or oh, this, I, I will. Whenever I'm done with this video, I'm just gonna stay here and hopefully they will serve me. Uh, I, I I have dressed pretty nicely for the occasion, so so who knows? May, maybe I'll just be served if I just stay here. Um, and this wraps around into a little stair, and there's a firewood and stuff being stored here. I'm gonna just gently walk back and check out these other doors so we can check out what is here. Uh, the Yes, absolutely. This is the feast hall here. Uh, and uh, there's some art going on on the sides here. This could potentially be a mimic of the castle. Um, I think, yeah. That's a, that's a very interesting thing of, of doing, like adding... Uh, Custom paintings, I would call them. And then we got a massive heart in the middle here and just areas to sit around. Very cozy. And uh, yeah, very nice stuff. This wraps around into... Okay, so some storage. Uh, yeah. And um, this goes all the way, the way around here. And then back to the main... Door. Okay, so this is connected, but what is happening over here? There's a tower. You know what? I'll check up this way and hopefully they all kind of meet together in the top here somehow And if not, you just have to go go on here and check it out for yourself um, This must be the planning room like maybe the war room uh, and uh, an area where they would um, Like discuss stuff with this council and there's, oh, there's a beautiful view over the feast hall right here. That is a very nice. Open floor plans like this. Well, not really an open floor plan, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's so mesmerizing when you walk uh, inside a castle. Because you're like, oh yeah, I've been there already. Now I'm up here. And you kind of get a new perspective of the building. Uh, and here we have an office. I do believe this must be the, the Lord's office. And he got his bed all the way in here. That's nice. And... Uh, Apparently he can get out on the... Either that is just a window or... Yeah, I believe this must just be a window. I don't think it's supposed to walk out on the, the castle here. And uh, that means if the intruders actually get on top of this wall here, they can just like walk straight into the castle. So I just said, I think that's... That could be a little flaw, but correct me if I'm wrong here. Because uh, if they manage to breach that wall, they're already kind of in here so I don't know um, very nice a little tub here in the back and a little washing room like that uh, but we'll go back uh, and uh, 
walk around. I feel like this should extend this way. Yes, definitely. Uh, lovely interior. Love the dark wood with light color like that. Uh, very fitting for castles. And I'm a big fan of that. using that myself for my builds. Uh, something you guys should definitely play around with. Uh, here they do the two thick wall technique. Uh, which I've been talking a little bit about. Because I've been using that mostly for my Krasberg videos lately. Where they have one block on the outside and then another block uh, on the inside for the walls. Meaning we can have nice red texture on the outside. Which would be very boring for the inside. So on the inside we have white and dark wood. And it is awesome. <laughs> it, it just changes the whole thing. Uh, and um, I have a bad idea. I have to go down to get around here and check out the other part of the castle. Unless there... Yes, we gotta go around. Let me just do that real quick then. Uh, and uh, let's see if we, I can find my way back. Should be... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna leave that for you guys uh, to check out. Oh, look at this. The sunset. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, leave, leave the other staircase going up for you guys to come on the server and check it out. Uh, oh, this is a nice little gallery here. Um, the, I assume there's some beds in here. Yes, absolutely. Very cool. Um, more. Oh, this, this must be the office. And then this... Well, now I'm getting confused. Yeah, I believe this must be the master bedroom or the lord's chamber here. Uh, because of the big windows and the office and stuff. And then a bigger tub thing. Yeah, the, the other one was maybe his maester or something. Yeah, I think so. Uh, if I if I know correctly, the maester of Stokeworth is called Car Carol? Carrot? Something like that? Carrot? With an E, not an A, like Carol, 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 I don't know. Uh, <laughs> something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, and there's more beds in here, uh, very awesome. So full uh, of, we like, rooms and details. Uh, I think we found a ladies chamber. Pink always indicates ladies, in Minecraft at least. And not to generalize or anything. Um, and she got a place to, to put on her makeup and get pretty for his husband, you know. And then, and then I found this area going down, so we we can check that out. And we go all the way up. What do we get when we get up here? Just some nice uh, hallways, and yes, cool, very cool. And more bedrooms. Um, for this look, could be his kids or stuff like that. But again, maybe the Lord's Chamber is just way bigger than the first one we saw. Um, nope, I think we found the Lord's Chamber again. That's the third time this video we found the Lord's Chamber. Wow. Holy cow. We, we, we find Lord Chambers left, right and center in this build. Definitely. This, this gotta be it. Uh, and these windows here are even more extravagant. So I have a good feeling this is the last time we'll find the Lord's Chamber in this build. Uh, that's so cool. That is definitely a lot wealthier than the other ones. So, the other dudes, they have a nice chamber, but nothing like this, boy. Um, yeah, and then, oh, a poop shoot. I'm just gonna, poop, little a little thing there, and you know what this is? This is um, whenever your castle is overtaken, you jump from here. And, um, yeah, let's not talk too much about that. Um, have I seen it all now? Yes. Oh, look at that ceiling, though. Wow. That is so cool. Great job, guys. A random applause for the Westeros Craft guys. And uh, they are truly amazing builders, all of them. They deserve all the content. I just feel bad that uh, their, um, uh, their own YouTube channel hasn't been very active lately due to the people doing the videos don't have too much time anymore so yeah I feel like me being oh wow I'm getting super lost now and uh, me being able to just help them out a little bit with some publicity uh, I don't want to steal their content I don't want to steal their stuff I just want to oh look at a nice sky here uh, I just want to show you guys that what these people do so you can appreciate them give them some love on Twitter in the comment section all that stuff you know uh, I think uh, the Minecraft building community is all about sharing and caring and um, 
helping each other grow, helping each other get inspired and stuff like that. So uh, doing this little series here has been inspiring me a lot and hopefully um, you guys as well. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo Man, and I'm out.